Hello, I'm Kelly Reed and I'm an advisor with VAST in our Professional Solutions Division. Over the course of the last three weeks, we've shared different concepts around managing risk. The first concept was around prevention strategies. Week two was discussing uh, ways to mitigate or minimize risk. And week three was discussing how to transfer risk away from an organization. Today is our fourth out of a fifth week series and that's the discussion of the assumption of risk or choosing to assume a specific risk within your insurance portfolio or outside of your insurance portfolio. Uh, traditionally, when our organization sits down and begins to meet with the business, one of our initial analysis uh, shows most businesses today choose to take on a significant amount of risk in one area, yet they take on very little risk in other areas of their, of their business, whether that's a medical practice, a health system, uh, uh, an attorney practice, or an assisted living. What we've helped them do is identify, are they risk adverse, are they risk tolerant, and then help them take a look at the, that different portfolio of risk that they have and see if there's consistencies within their decision-making process. And I'll give you an example of what that looks like. If we looked at an organization that was fully self-insured, I would say picture a straight line, a fully self-insured program here on my left hand would be an organization that had no deductible, high limits of liability, and the insurance carrier paid all costs. On my right hand, you would see an organization that was completely self-insured, had limits that in the event of a loss, they paid for defense costs, expert witnesses, and all payments to a plaintiff. A captive is a good example of this. Have you identified where do you fall in that spectrum? Are you fully self-insured? Do you take on a little bit of risk? Do you want to take on more risk in the future and ultimately work your way to that captive concept? But if you identify where you are today and, and where you want to go in the future, you have the ability in, to be strategic about the assumption of risk. And it's an avenue that most businesses uh, uh, kind of get caught up in that traditional insurance cycle and they look 90 days before and maybe they leave things the way they've always been. But business is changing today, especially in healthcare. Every single day in healthcare, we have new risk that are presented, whether that's healthcare reform, whether that's employing physicians, whether that's uh, an organization uh, through an M&A or merger and acquisition activity, new risks are presented. Therefore, that makes us review, have we done things the way that we've always done them, or are there avenues that we can assume additional risk and ultimately help the overall cost of our organization? And that's my recommendation to you. Identify where you're at today, where do you want to be in the future, and what areas do you have the ability to take on additional risk from.